and welcome back to Shell's Glam Home. Well, today I'm excited to share another episode of Christmas with Shell, and this time we're doing some DIY mug toppers. I hope you enjoy. Guys, recently I picked up some mug toppers from an Etsy store, and as much as I absolutely love them, they were very expensive to ship here to Australia. So what I wanted to do today is have a go at my very own DIY mug toppers. Now to start with, you're going to take a piece of cardboard guys and cover it in some aluminium foil. Now you're going to take a piece of that cardboard and you're going to take a mug and what I'm doing here is I'm turning the mug upside down and I'm going to trace two circles. You're then going to take some scissors and cut them out. Now when you cut them out guys you want to cut them around the outside of the line so you want to go over a little bit. You're then going to take the cardboard and place it on top of your mug and you can see here that it sits over the rim of the mug which is perfect for what is about to happen. I then took a trip to Bunnings and I picked up some multi-purpose filler. Now guys this was just five dollars for the little bucket and out of that bucket I got two toppers. You'll also be needing today some white craft paint as well as an old cup that you're not using anymore. You'll also need something to stir it with. I use this old craft stick. And you'll also be using some disposable decorating bags. Now I picked this up from the cake section of Spotlight. As well as this open star tip in the number 1M. So I started first of all guys taking one of the bags and I just took some scissors and cut off the top. I then took that open star tip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it inside the bag. Now because it didn't quite fit securely guys, I took some sticky tape and I wrapped it around the top just to secure everything in place. You'll also need a tall glass. Now I use this old tumbler and what you do is place the bag inside and then hang it over the edge. Now we're then going to take a couple of scoops of the multi-purpose filler. Now I place that inside the old glass and then I'm going to take a couple of small drops of the white paint. So 
you're then going to take that craft stick and mix it all together. You're then going to pour the mixture into the bag. Now I ended up using an old spoon here guys as it was much easier to place it inside the bag. Now there's a line on the bag that acts as a guide guys for you to fill up too. So this gives you the exact amount that needs to go in the bag. Once the bag was full, you're then gonna take some sticky tape and taking those two black pieces of cardboard, you're gonna add some sticky tape to the back and place them down on the aluminium foil. You're then going to take the bag and starting from the outside, you're going to go around the black cardboard. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm. You're going to continue around and around until you get a nice full effect. Now it's a bit like decorating a cake, guys. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Now I continued around and around until I got the look I was aiming for. I then repeated the same steps on the second one. Now guys, this can get quite messy, so I probably recommend using gloves. I'm then going to take some acrylic paint in the colour coffee bean and drizzle it over the top. I'm then going to take some dollar store gold straws and I'm going to cut them quite small. I'm then going to place them on the side. I'm then going to add some cinnamon and place it over the top. I also had some of these little candy toppings and I just sprinkled little hearts over the top. Now guys, as much as I really liked these, I wasn't happy with how high they were. So I went back and decided the following day to start making some other ones with a different method. So I took these dollar store little cups and I hot glued them, I turned them upside down and hot glued them onto the little round mats. I don't know what he's thinking when he rather spend his Christmas all the day with someone else. I guess he stopped thinking about me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night, all day. To 
celebrate Christmas with me. Now, using the same method as before, I started from the very bottom, but this time I went round and around until the entire cup was covered. I know what he want now, but I don't care. Now I also added some nutmeg as well as those candy toppings as well and I loved the height of these so much more. love how my little project came guys these were so much fun to create i've never done anything like this before but wanted to have a go and i love how they give the illusion that they really are a yummy coffee I was really happy that I chose to use those plastic cups guys to give more visual height. If you're trying to attempt this for the first time, I thoroughly recommend using these instead. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, I'd love to welcome you here. My name's Michelle, I'm an Australian YouTuber, and most people call me Shell, and I'm the creator of Shell's Glam Home. If you love DIY projects, inspirational ideas, and room tours, my channel just might be for you, and I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. So guys, leave me a comment down below if you are going to attempt your first DIY mug toppers. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. for watching guys I truly hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you in some small way when it comes to decorating with DIY mug toppers
So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Until next time my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!